Okay, so I just left my parent-teacher conference with my little nephew. Now, for those of you that don't know, he got an F on some homework that I helped him with, which every answer was correct because, damn it, I'm 28 years old and I, I know how to multiply, so I know my multiplication tables. So I walk up in this damn parent-teacher conference and this little prissy-ass teacher just so happens to be sitting behind this desk. And you could tell that she's one of these people who thinks her shit don't stink because she's all proper and shit. And I walked in there with stains on my boots. So I really could give a fuck less what she had to say to start with, but I'm already pissed off. So let's just go ahead and start the story. So I walk in there, she sits down, she goes, who are you? I said, I'm his uncle. That's who the hell I am. I'm the one that helped him with his homework and I want an explanation why my little dude right here decided, you decided it was time to give him an F on some homework when every single answer on this homework was correct. She goes, well, that's not the way we do things in my class, sir. This is how we do things in my class. I tell them and I show them the steps on how to come to, the, to a solution of these problems. I expect to see this work. And I'm looking at her. And I'm waiting for her to give me a good fucking reason about why she failed my nephew. Now, I'm still somewhat calm at this point, but she continued on with her little prissy ass to tell me that she is not concerned with these kids getting the correct answer. It's all about how they got there. And I lost my shit on her. I said, let me explain something to you, Miss Teacher. I'm not going to say her name. So you're telling me right now that you could give a fuck less, and I used fuck, you could give a fuck less about these kids coming up with the right answer as long as they do shit your way. You're setting them up for fucking failure. You're setting them up for fucking failure if you're not worried about them getting the correct answer. Maybe I don't want my nephew to have to get a pen and a piece of paper every time he's got to multiply a multiple of six. Maybe I want him to just be able to like three times six is 18. Maybe I want him to do that. Maybe I don't want him every time to have to critically think and do some kind of common core bullshit and take up half a page of notebook paper in order to figure out that 10 plus 12 is fucking 22. Maybe so. She was like, well, sir, that's our curriculum. I said, fuck your curriculum. Fuck every ounce of your curriculum because it's bullshit. You're the reason kids are looking for safe spaces, okay? You're the re you're the type of teacher right now that's poisoning these fucking kids, okay? You're the type of teacher who comes here, rules the roost, goes home and gets her ass beat by her husband, okay? And then comes back to school and tries to throw some fucking authority around because she has none at home and her own fucking kids can't count to 20 without taking off their fucking shoes. I don't give a shit about curriculum. I don't give a shit about how the fuck she wants shit done in her classroom. I believe in, give, in doing shit and coming up with the correct answer. And I don't really give a fuck if you, agree, if you disagree with me. I don't, okay? Because this whole thing about, well, it's a, it's a, I've seen this in the comments on my last video. Well, the teacher wants them to show their work. They need to show their work. It's called following directions. Uh, I'm sorry, but if somebody told you to take four fucking rights, and then go that way, would you take four fucking rights or would you just take a fucking left? It's called a shortcut. It's the same goddamn... Ugh! It's the same answer. It's just a, it's a smarter people work smarter, not harder. I'm over it. I'm done. I hope that she fails him again. I really do. I hope she fails him because I'm going to waddle my fat ass right back up in that classroom and we're going to have round two. Shit.